Hello, K2EFG here. I started my video in a little different way. I already set up. Behind me is a manually tuned multi-band antenna by, uh, I think it's MFJ, I'm not sure. And you can see here, there are different taps of different uh, location, as well as the change of the, um, the whip can be changed to different uh, length. And it's a very versatile antenna, uh, efficient because it's mostly equivalent to the ham stick that I have that sits uh, on the car uh, of which you've seen some videos. Um, this is uh, a new experiment for me. I'm planning to take it overseas to Israel in a few uh, weeks. I plan to. We'll see what happens with the pandemic. But uh, in the meanwhile, I'm trying to uh, start getting more familiar with it. I left it at 20 meter to just kind of check the obvious uh, open band. But uh, I'm going to uh, try to, where is this? Oh, I'm going to try to um, uh, play around with the band a little bit. Today there's uh, also a frequency lock on some areas in the 20 meters, also in 40 meters um, for uh, an 80 for the Haiti uh, earthquake. Uh, we were asked to stay away from uh, certain areas of uh, the band, but uh, it's working. The other thing I did a little differently today is even though it's very hot i'm putting my uh, cable through the window and almost completely closing the window but not quite crushing it i'm going to try to keep the integrity of the cable better uh being a better uh, keeper of that so here it is right above me the antenna you can see the taps those red marks and gray marks are markings of pre-length so it tells me which tap i need to um, go into and also which tap uh, which length of the whip uh, and I'm using the actual base of the antenna as a marker for the length of the whip so I don't have to measure the length every time I need to uh, change it it just gives me a, a quick pre-installed uh, length so all I got to do is open the little hex uh, uh, screw in there uh, and readjust the, the length based on the preset uh, length that's what I think the gray taps uh, the gray um, tape is for the red tape is just a marker i just marked on it this is a 20 meter hole this is a, a 40 meter hole a, a, a 17 meter hole and so on so that's it i already had two contacts with europe from this location so i haven't checked the sunspot uh, report but uh i think it's not good and I ha i'm happy to at least have a couple of stations it's about 7 p.m uh, it should be getting better uh in the middle of august but uh, we'll see that's it for now, K2FG. Okay, so here's the antenna, and I'm gonna switch now to 40 meter. You'll see that I pre-marked these based on the instructions, so I'm gonna just move this uh, this bridge, this, this, this short, to here. Um, the, the nice thing about this antenna is you'll notice that the red marking here says 20 or 40. 20 or 40, this line here indicates that the pre-measured line for um, the pre-measured line for uh, the uh, the whip has to be uh, the same for 20 or 40 meters. So I'm pre-marked it, and you can see that here is the pre-marking. It's this red uh, point here uh, where the edge is, and you can see that the edge fits exactly. Uh, so the nice thing about 20 or 40 is that the whip. The whip does not have to change. The whip can stay at the same length and uh, I just have to switch the uh, frequency, the, the, the little uh, short that I have here. Now, another thing I can say is that before I switch to 40 from 20, I usually just go down to 20 on my, repeat, on my receiver and see if I see any activity. It's a little trick, it's not a big deal. If I hear activity, then it's worthwhile retuning the antenna for 40 meter. So that's it for now, 7-3. So it's a day later and I'm actually uh, happy that I didn't complete the task yesterday. I was going to switch to 40 meters when I discovered my measurements were wrong. So I uh, remeasured it and relabel the entire uh, 1699 antenna. So let's take a look at how it looks. So 
So here's the antenna, it's uh, connected to 20, it's measured based on the measurement for 20 meters. But uh, this uh, bridge cable, I, uh, I looped around, I saw some other videos that showed that and actually makes a lot of sense. You don't want to just have it hanging because then it becomes more like a, a, a loose wire. You want to have it uh, rotating around the pole. It does a great deal of work for the resonance and also for uh, omnidirectionality. So there you have it. Here's the 1699 antenna. Here's a few improvements. You see that every hole tells me where do I short the uh, uh, where do I short the uh, antenna with this uh, banana cable. And on top of that, on the side, it gives me length and the location of how long the whip should be. Currently the whip is on 40 meter and all I need is a hex beam, uh, a hex uh, 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 little screwdriver over here to change the length of the antenna to whatever frequency I, was, I need. I tried to do this for all the frequencies that are available on this antenna, 40 meter, 20, all the way up to six and two meter. And we're gonna try it out now. Our conditions are good, 47 uh, sunspot should be relatively good at the bottom of the 11th, uh, 11, 11th uh, solar cycle. And I'm uh, hoping for the best. Well, the good rule of measure twice, drill once worked. There's no activity on 40 meters, so I switched the antenna to 20. Uh, and I want to show you one thing I did. All right, uh, K2EFG here. I switched locations and uh, wait a little bit. It's almost noon and it's a sad Sunday. So it's uh, a little bit bad in terms of conditions. Uh, you know, it's getting to that time with the ionosphere is most distance from the earth. So uh, I did make some connections. Uh, Kentucky, uh, Nova Scotia, uh, it was good. And the antenna is very nicely tuned above me on the roof. I'm gonna take it down and uh, I will uh, cover them maybe again when it's about five, six o'clock p.m. when there's a little bit more of uh, um, skip and better conditions. So uh, the experiment worked. I'm glad I, I went back home yesterday and uh, re-measured the antenna and now I have a very nice MFJ 1699 up on the roof working for me. 73 K2EFG.